Oh my God, guys, you don't even know how many times I tried to make this video. I was almost done and the freaking phone fell. Anyway, so let's start this off with what I wanted to start it off with. <sighs> These Jelly Mutt Shadows are Jelly Mutt Messy. They are not fun to work with. It, it, not fun. I mean, not fun. I mean, even though you're supposed to like apply it with your finger, it, it's just, it, it, not a fan. I have three shades. I mean, yeah, I got it on a little bit today. I will try to um, play with them a little bit more tomorrow to do a nice little St. Patty's Day look, but whoo, they are a jelly much mess. So they jelly messy. So let's talk about two things in this video, which is Kat Von D um, is number one. The video that she made, I personally think, like, she hasn't uploaded a video since her wedding. Um, but I really, truly believe that she just made that video because she is trying to save her brand. My opinion. We'll do a Nick Snyder. Opinions are not facts. But that really is my opinion because you, you, girls got to realize that her brand is struggling. And, like, when it hits Sephora within, like, a week or two, it's, like, half price already because it's just not selling um, and obviously it's mostly at TJ Maxx, but there's a lot of other brands that are at TJ Maxx. So that to me is irrelevant. But the fact that Sephora has to have it on sale for half price within like the first week or two of the launch is just, you know, so you obviously know your brand is, you know, struggling. You don't see that with Too Faced or Huda or, you know, other brands. Um, you just don't see that. So I really think she's starting to recognize that her brand is struggling. Now for the video, some I I can't believe that she said she can't be anti-Semitic because that she's Latino. That that's just I will say it all the time. Assholes come in all races, shapes, sizes, form. It don't matter. You can be an asshole and don't matter what you are. Okay. Um, and with you know her ex-husband and the swastika stuff that's going on now. Yeah, I get it. It's a peace sign. But anyway. Um, now when it comes, her explanation though of that, you know, oh, you know, this, you know, the cast member didn't like, no, no, it just, she concentrated too hard on something that I just, whatever, it, I just think it's a crock of shit to be perfectly honest. And then when she talked about the vaccinations, here's where this just tickled my fuzzy a little bit. Um... I do agree that she shouldn't make her child's, you know, health records, you know, public, you know, let's not, that's okay, that's cool, you know, because people are going to continue to call you, you out for it. But I personally think she's still not vaccinating her child. And the reason why, in my opinion, I feel this way is because when she said I decided to discuss it with my pediatrician and we're not going to make his, you know, things public or whatever, I think if she did decide to vaccinate her child, she go she would have said, you know, upon in the research, I realize how important it is, or yada yada yada. I think that was her way of copping out of it, uh, out of saying it was a cop out way. You know, she didn't address, you know, the um, the dangers that can come. Oh, there comes Sally. The dangers that can come of not vaccinating your child. Speaking of my little Miss Holly, she cannot have the chickenpox vaccination. She can't have it. Hi, beautiful. Um, but she cannot have it. So I have to worry in the back of my hand, hand in the back of my head that hopefully she never comes down with the chicken pox because now that she's 17 years old, as you get older, when you become an adult, the chicken pox can be deadly. So unfortunately, she cannot. That's the only vaccination that she cannot have. Um, but everything else, you know, she is vaccinated for and she has an immune deficiency. So I understand when you, choosing to vaccinate your child isn't only your choice. You are making a choice for the people that your child is going to be around. And I personally would not want to see my child get sick with measles, mumps, rubella, you know, polio. I, I would not want to see my child come down with those illnesses because... I didn't get a vaccination. I mean, I, I just could never in my heart really want, I mean, I get it that you want to read everything and make sure all the knowledge you can about your child, even what you put on your child's body or what your child eats and stuff like that. You, you want to make sure that your child is safe. But in the long run, when you look at vaccinations, you're, you're, you're reading and you're researching even the foods that your child eats 
when you're researching these vaccinations, are you researching what can happen if your child comes down with the disease that you're not vaccinating him for? I think you should spend time doing that also. Not only research the what's good or bad or what's bad about the vaccination, but what the illness is that your child could be vaccinated for and what can happen if your child comes down with that illness. That should be just as much as big a part of the research on what's in the vaccine. You know, it, it's a very small percentage of people. Hello, beautiful. Come down with. Mm -hmm. It does happen where people have, you know, side effects to vaccinations that but it's very rare. It, it is rare. Um, it does happen but again not only research the the vaccine research the disease and ask yourself do i want my do i want to make my child susceptible to that by not getting a vaccination there's where the true homework in my eyes lies is researching the whole thing so let's talk about this other you know i have a word for him pos you know character whatever you want this Romeo Lacoste. Oh my goodness. Well, there's a pig and, you know, there. well, pigs are cute animals. Let's not even call them that. But there's so many people like that out there. And I am glad that James Charles deleted the video that he had with him because it is good to not associate yourself with this slob. You know, it, 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 it's very good that you don't associate yourself with him. And it's just disgusting behavior. And some of the things, because I watched Dustin Daly's video when I was on lunch break, and I'm like, oh my God, some of the stuff that he said was just so disgusting. I mean, just absolutely disgusting with the, mm, if that would, if you were talking to my, you know, teenage 14 or 15 year old like that, you best believe I will be knocking on your door and slapping you so hard across your face. Um... But yeah, hopefully something kind of happens to him on that because I do believe that is illegal. And if there is proof, if this girl has these tweets and they're legit, I think the authorities should uh, kind of look into that because, you know, don't they do like on Dateline or 2020? That's how they trap people by saying stuff like that. Imagine if, you know, this girl had went to like his party or his house and these girls just... That's some sick ass shit, guys. I'm sorry, but that is really sick. What he was saying was just completely gross. Oh my God. So, and the fact that he was talking to a, you know, a child is even worse. It's just even more disgusting than I could. I just, I just can't. I just, first of all, to talk to an adult like that, I think it's gross. But hey, whatever you want to do behind closed doors is totally your business. I don't care. <laughs> I still like Paige where she, <laughs> when she made the Rewired Soul video, that shit was funny. When she was doing the role play, playing, now that was funny. That I thought was hilarious. Hello, beautiful. I can stop. What time are you working tomorrow, honey? 11. 11, I thought so, because I said they called her in early. So anyway, um, that man is just a complete slob, and to talk that way to young girls is just the equivalent of just anyway he should he should face some kind of thing for that let me know what your thoughts are about that obviously I totally want to know um and let me know your thoughts on the cat Bondi hello gorgeous mm. <laughs> she is just being a super cutie today I try to keep my glasses off because this they glare and it seems like the camera just adjusts all the time. So I'm going to try to play with these. Oh, and this is, I forgot. This, this is the palette that L Loves Tea made me buy this. You know, oh, I see Nady's review of it. Oh, he's such a cutie. I love him. But I love that this has a shade in it called Kiss My Hass. That's really cute. I'm sorry. That's adorable. And um, so L Loves Tea made me buy this palette that I am wearing. And I am wearing some of the Jelly Much shadows jelly much hello you want to come say hi say hello hello gorgeous can i have a oh thank you that's oh she's got a little lipstick mark on her. i'm sorry sweetheart she just wanted to come out and say hi how are you doing so holly says hello i really hope these guys are having a wonderful evening and please let me know your thoughts on kat von d 
and Romeo Lanasty. We're just going to call him Lanasty because that man is just really Lanasty. Um, and to talk to children like that is just disturbing. So I hope they keep a good eye on his ass, you know, like the authorities keep a good eye on him because I don't think that's the first time that he's ever talked to teenagers that way, period. So just saying. Hugs and kisses to you all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always. Have a great night.